Come, let us worship and bow down, bending the knee before our Maker. You are our God and we are your people, the flock you shepherd. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, September the 8th. It's the 16th Sunday after Pentecost and week 3 in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verse 169 to 172. Acts chapter 4, verse 18 to 31. And the canticle Tobit chapter 13, verse 1 through 4. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we confess that we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We've not loved you with our whole hearts and we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We beseech you to overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may the Almighty and merciful God forgive us of all our sins in Jesus' holy name. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, let my cry come before you, my God. Give me understanding according to your word. Alleluia. Psalm 119. Alleluia, let my cry come before you, my God. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you and deliver me according to your word. My lips shall utter praise when you have taught me your statutes. My tongue shall speak of your word, for all your commandments are true. Let your hand help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I have longed for your salvation, my God, and your law is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise you, and let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let my cry come before you, my God. Give me understanding according to your word. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, beginning at verse 18. And so the rulers and the scribes called them and ordered them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered, Whether it is right in God's sight to listen to you rather than to God, you must judge. For we cannot keep from speaking about what we have seen and heard. After threatening them again, they let them go, finding no way to punish them because of the people. For all of them praised God for what had happened. For, man, for the man on whom this sign of healing had been performed was more than 40 years old. After they were released, they went to their friends and reported what the chief priests and the elders had said to them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices together to God and said, Sovereign God, who made the heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them, it is you who said by the Holy Spirit through our ancestor David, Why did the Gentiles rage and the people imagine vain things? The kings of the earth took their stand and the rulers have gathered together against God and God's Messiah. For in this city, in fact, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, gathered together against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, 
to do whatever your hand and your plan had predestined to take place. And now look at their threats and grant to your servants to speak your word with all boldness while you stretch out your hand to heal and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place in which they had gathered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God with boldness. Here ends the lesson. Keep us as the apple of your eye and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia! Blessed are you, God, who lives forever, and blessed be your dominion. Alleluia! Blessed are you, O God, who lives forever, and blessed be your dominion. For you scourge, and you have mercy, and you lead down to hell, and you bring back again. None can avoid your hand. Confess God before the Gentiles, O children of Israel. For the Most High has scattered us among them. Declare God's greatness, and extol the Most High before all the living. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you, God, who lives forever, and blessed be your dominion. Alleluia. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>